My name is Megan May and I'm a board certified oncology pharmacist. I practice at Baptist Health Lexington in Lexington, Kentucky. And I work in the outpatient cancer center and I see both solid tumors and hematologic malignancy patients. Supportive care for patients that are receiving treatment for CLL is extremely important. To me, supportive care includes prevention of nausea, vomiting, fatigue, distress management, pain management, and survivorship. These are all important aspects for patients with CLL in addition to their CLL treatment. For patients, there's also a risk for infection while they not only have CLL, but when they're getting treatment for CLL as well. As a clinical pharmacist, one of my roles is to decide if a patient does need infection prophylaxis. If they do, I will discuss this with the provider in order to get the um, prescription sent to the pharmacy. At my institution, we also use our electronic medical record with treatment plans for our oral and IV agents. If a prophylactic medication is needed for infection control, then that is built in automatically to our treatment plan as a reminder to all the providers that this is recommended. If it's just a suggested infection prophylaxis, then it's built in the background and the provider or clinical pharmacist can manually add that into the treatment plan to get the prescription. It's important for CLL patients to stay up to date on their vaccinations. This includes receiving their flu shot and their pneumococcal vaccine if indicated. In addition, patients will need to get their shingles vaccine if it is appropriate for the patient. One thing I make sure all my patients know though is never to receive a live vaccine. They only wanna receive the vaccines that are not active or not live. Mm -hmm.